And what a matchup we've got for you tonight as we welcome you to the jungle. Neville Arena is rocking. The Tigers are hot. They've got a great team. And the Kentucky Wildcats have come to town to try to slow down this Auburn Express. Sold out, hot, noisy, and nobody, and I mean nobody, gets his team pumped up for a game like Auburn coach Bruce Pearl. We play hard every night. We bring it every night. I don't know if this team is going to be the champion of the SEC, but that's what we're playing for tonight, the championship. I don't know if we're going to win it, but the championship is going through Auburn. All right? You would have to be way better than Auburn to win this championship. It starts tonight. Bring me out. And I think the most indispensable player, he's their leading rebounder, leading offensive rebounder. That's a big loss for the Wildcats. A nice baseline cut, and Justin Edwards gets Kentucky on the board. Kentucky doing a pretty good job thus far in making Auburn take the shot Kentucky wants him to take. And a good start for Justin Edwards, his second field goal of the game. The arrow puts it on the deck. Onienzo down with a rebound. Dillingham rises up for a three, and it's 11-2 Kentucky. KD Johnson. And then right over Dylan Cardwell, good put good. He can play pick and roll, handles the ball well. The arrow to the bench, Jordan Burks has checked in. And a three for Chad Baker Mazzara. Dillingham will try again, and it's Auburn ball. Boy, how about that vertical contest at the rim? Holloway blocked from behind by Bradshaw. Williams cleans it up. Johnson almost lost it, now he did. They can't show the ball like that. And Reeves in transition with a three. The lead grows for the Wildcats. Down by nine in the early going. Kentucky playing well at both ends of the floor right now. Reeves on the wing, one of the best shooters in the time to shine for Kentucky. Well, Katie Johnson was wide open on that flex cut. Don't you love big guys who run the floor? Janai Broom lays it in. Auburn's out of bounds under defense is terrific. The arrow muscles it up and in and draws the foul as well. Get a piece of the paint so that he can create shots for others. He can kick it out to open three-point shooters, but there he just took it all the way to the basket. And Johnson fouls him with that left. And they turn it over only to give it back. It's Shepard again. Unbelievable. Reeves up top. The arrow and a foul. He just, and almost like Wayne Gretzky used to say, it's not where the uh, the puck is, it's where it's going to be. But that pass ahead is next level. That's what led to that lob pass, the terrific steal and pass ahead. And there's an extra step on that ladder for a Duth the arrow. Other than that, what does he do, really? <laughs> Baker Mazar, a lot of dribbling. Good pass. Jones is open and hits. And Onienzo runs down the loose ball. Going to work on Broom and somehow scored over him. Good defense by Jones, good cut by Edwards, but it's knocked away. Tight window. Johnson up and in. Wow, bodies are flying. Wow. And Fierro flushes it. Things chaotic. But Kentucky, even though it was chaotic, Adu Thierro, the man on the spot, dunks right over Chad Baker. And Kentucky handling the Auburn pressure much better after that timeout where John Calipari could get them refocused. Holloway burst to speed, and he lays it in at the other end. Holloway saying, I can do that at the other end. And Auburn has made a game of it here. They are... Reeves inside, and a driving layup and a foul. Block that shot. Now watch him curling around this, and hands were all over him. Reeves driving on Chaney Johnson. Can't get this one to go, but got it back and lays it in. There goes Reeves down under the basket. So he gets to choose which screen he wants to come off of. Instead, it's a beautiful find to Fierro. And Chaney Johnson is going to help. And that leaves the arrow wide open for that pass from Reed. 
Boy, the energy in this place at the beginning of the game coming off the huge win Tuesday over South Carolina. No Trey Mitchell for Kentucky. But give Onyenso and the freshmen and everybody who's suited up in blue tonight a heck of a lot of credit. Kentucky earned this one. Well, we said that they had to come ready for a fight. And Kentucky came ready for a fist fight. And they they won this game that way with the mindset and their physical toughness, their mental toughness. And that'll do it. An impressive road victory for Kentucky, the first home loss this season for the Auburn Tigers.